voting pandemic style. Tight restrictions were put in place to reassure Lithuanians as they went to cast their ballots in Sunday's first round of parliamentary elections. The spread of COVID-19 and what the government's doing about it, along with virus-related soaring unemployment, have been the main issues in the election. The governing four-party coalition found itself facing a stiff challenge from the opposition. Everything will be great if young people are elected. The old ones have been sitting there long enough. People are showing in these first days that they want change and they are not satisfied with the last four years. In pre-vote opinion polls, the centrist Farmers and Greens Party, a grouping that leads Prime Minister Solia Skvernelis' governing coalition, was neck and neck with the centre-right Homeland Union. With support roughly 15% for both and 15 other parties on the ballot, another coalition is inevitable, but its makeup is uncertain. Under Lithuania's election system, half of the 141-member parliament are elected in a proportional vote. The remaining legislators are elected in constituencies with a runoff vote for the top two candidates in each, scheduled for October the 25th. Ivna Lavrik, Euronews. Dr. Margarita Sheshelgitse is the director of the Institute of International Relations and Political Science. Joining us now from Lithuania, thank you very much for your time. There's been a, a sort of surge of support for opposition groups. Why do you think that's happened? Good morning, good morning. Hello. Indeed, uh, these elections are very interesting because uh, um, on one hand, that uh, was sort of a referendum uh, for, for, for those who are in party, what, what the people uh, in, in the government, what the people are supporting their four-year term, what they've done, and how they're handling the COVID situation. And there were different uh, surveys showing different results. Uh, the current government and the, the opposition were going hand in hand, and up until yesterday, it was not very clear who's going to be in lead. But yesterday we saw the results where the opposition parties, first of all, the Homeland Union Party was taking the number one, but there were also other surprises from the other opposition parties, uh, uh, center-right parties like the uh, Freedom, Freedom Union, entirely newcomer to the Lithuanian political scene in terms of the parliament. Uh, parliamentary elections, and they were they are receiving uh, nine percent. So that was a big of surprise, and that shows that the there is a need for a change. The the people were voting for the change. But why? What kind of changes do you think they want to see take place? Uh, I think that the, one of the potential challenges for this government was that uh, they were uh, not handling the situation of COVID-19 as the people were expecting. There were lots of restrictions, there were a lot of uh, in, um, un undecidedness, the information was not clear, people were not happy about that. The second part of, of the uh, challenge that uh, the, the government was, was facing was that uh, their promises of the professional government of the uh, innovations of the modernization were not kept and there were a lot of restrictions there were a lot of uh, uh, sort of a situations where they were um, trying to forbid the things like uh, they were trying to close down the the, the um, selling of uh, the alcohol uh, to diminish the hours that they were uh, allowed, the people were allowed to, to uh, buy the alcohol. And on one hand, this is a good policy in terms of uh, fighting against the alcoholism. But on the other hand, the means how it was done were sending the sin uh, signal uh, that uh, uh, there are more restrictions for the people, and people were tired of, of these restrictions. 